Hey there friends, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to continue with our work in the story Beach Fun. Last time we talked about the main idea and the details and today we're going to be um, looking at some sentence corrections. We're going to be looking at some capital letters and how we can make sentences look just how they need to. So let's go ahead and dig into that. First thing first, we're going to reread our story. Again, this is Beach Fun written by Marvin D. Bodner. So we're going to go page by page. And we want to think about our focus question, what can you do at the beach? So at the end, we're going to revisit that question and talk about what we found out. The words we need to know here are beach, kites, castles, shells, dig, and swim. And we'll see those words here in our story. Go ahead and read with me. We swim at the beach. We dig at the beach. We run at the beach. We eat at the beach. We play at the beach. We fly kites at the beach. We find shells at the beach. We build castles at the beach. So let's revisit that focus question, friends. What are some things we can do at the beach? Good, you can build sand castles. What else can you do? Yeah, we can run and play. We can fly kites, all things from the story. Wonderful. So last time we were together, we looked at that main idea and the details. We talked about how the main idea was that we can do things at the beach and the details were things that we could do. So details were things like running or playing or building sandcastles. Today then we're going to be looking at how those sentences work and how they're built in such a way that they um, are correct. So we want to make sure our sentences look correct. So for example, let's look at this sentence here. We build castles at the beach. What kind of letter do we see at the beginning of this sentence? Good, we see a capital letter, right? That first W there in the word we is a capital W. Why do we have a capital W there? Good, because the first letter in the sentence always needs to be a capital letter. So we always start our sentences with a capital letter. Um, that tells us it's the beginning of a new sentence. Can you tell me another reason we might use a capital letter? Good, we also use capital letters for names or important places. So I would capitalize my name, Miss Sykes, or I might capitalize the state that I live in, Ohio. But today we're going to be focusing on that capital letter at the beginning of the sentence, which we use every time. What do we see here at the end of the sentence? Good, we see a period. So we call that punctuation. We use ending punctuation to tell us when a sentence is over. In this case, we have a period. A period is used when we're not asking a question or saying anything too exciting, but we still want to indicate that the sentence is finished. So this sentence, we build castles at the beach, has six words in it, starts with a capital W, and ends with a period. So now we're going to practice some together. I'm going to write a sentence here on Seesaw, and then we're going to talk about what's incorrect and how we can fix it. So I'm going to use my text tool, and I'm going to type out this sentence here. Let's read our sentence together. I can see the cat. What can you tell me is wrong about my sentence? Very good. So my first word here, I, needs to be a capital I. I need to have a capital letter at the beginning of the sentence. What else am I missing in this sentence? Good, I'm missing a period at the end. I'm missing my ending punctuation. So I went ahead and added those things in, and now I have a complete sentence. Let's read it again. I can see the cat. Let's try another one.
Go ahead and read with me. He is going to the store. He is going to the store. What am I missing in this sentence? Go ahead, my first letter needs to be a capital letter, so I need to make a capital H. And what else am I missing? That's right, I'm missing my ending punctuation. So I'm gonna use a period since I'm not asking a question or saying anything all that exciting. Let's read our sentence one more time with correct capitalization and punctuation. He is going to the store. Let's continue down that vein. Read my sentence with me. When will he be back? When will he be back? What am I missing in this sentence, friends? Good, I need a capital letter, right? So the first letter in when, that W needs to be a capital. What else am I missing? Good, I'm missing ending punctuation. But let's think about this one. Are we asking a question here? Yeah, we absolutely are, right? We're asking when will he be back? So what kind of punctuation should we use at the end of that sentence? Should we use a period, a question mark, or an exclamation point? Good, we're gonna use a question mark. So by putting a question mark, I can indicate that I'm asking a question, and it's still a complete sentence since we have a capital letter at the beginning. Let's read it together. When will he be back? Good job, friends. Let's practice a few more. Let's read this sentence together. Miss Sykes is going to school. Now I have a couple things missing in this sentence. What's one thing that I'm missing? Good, I'm missing my capital letter at the beginning. So my first word here is miss, so that needs to be capitalized. What else am I missing? Good, I'm missing my ending punctuation. Since I'm not asking a question or saying anything too exciting, I'm just going to use a period. But I'm still missing two more things in this sentence. Remember friends, we capitalize names and we use periods after abbreviations. Good, so I need a period after miss. Since the word miss is being shortened here, if we typed out the word miss, it would look like that, M-I-S-S. -S. But we can shorten it to M-S period. So we have Miss Sykes is going to school. We need to capitalize one more thing in this sentence. Do you know what it is? Good, we need to capitalize the S in Sykes. We capitalize a person's name, even if it's a first name or a last name. So since Sykes is my last name, then we need to capitalize the S in Sykes. Let's read the sentence one more time. Miss Sykes is going to school. Great job, friends. Let's do one more example together, and then I'll explain what you're doing on Seesaw. Let's read this sentence together. Math is my favorite. Math is my favorite. What am I missing in this sentence? Good, I'm missing a capital letter, a capital M in math, because it's the beginning of a sentence. And what am I missing at the end? Good, I'm missing ending punctuation. Should I use a period, a question mark, or an exclamation point? That's right, I'm going to use an exclamation point, because I'm talking about something exciting. I'm saying that math is my favorite. And since I'm excited about that, I'm showing a lot of emotion, I want to use an exclamation point. Let's read the sentence one more time. Math is my favorite. Great job, friends. So now let's talk about what you're doing for your seesaw activity today. You have four sentences here um, that all have to do with what happened in our story, Beach Fun. 
So you need to correct the sentences so they have capital letters. They already gave you punctuation at the end, so you don't need to worry about that. But you need to add capital letters to the beginning of each sentence. The way you're going to do that is like this. You may use the text tool or the writing tool. I'm going to recommend the text tool because it's easier to make it smaller. And you're going to rewrite the sentence with correct capitalization. So you're going to add those capital letters. Now I do an example of that here. So you can go ahead and watch that if you would like. I think it'll help you. But let's kind of talk about it one more time. So our first sentence says, I dig at the beach. But our first letter here is a lowercase i. We know that that needs to be a capital I. So I'm going to write capital I. And then I'm just going to copy the rest of the sentence. Dig at the beach. And don't forget to put that punctuation at the end. Then I'm going to stretch it out and make it a bit smaller and put it on the line. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Go ahead and do that for numbers two, three, and four by adding that capital letter and then rewriting the sentence. Then at the bottom, you're going to write your own sentence about what you would like to do at the beach or something you could do at the beach. If you need a good sentence starter, think about what happened in the story. We blank at the beach. You can use that sentence format if you'd like and you think it'll help you. So you could write we something fill in the blank at the beach. Something that didn't already happen in the story. So use that good good brain of yours to come up with an idea of something that might happen at the beach and then write it here on the lines. You may use the sentence starter we blank at the beach or you can write your own sentence whichever one you prefer. Either way I can't wait to see what you guys write about. I think it's going to be awesome. Um, good luck correcting those sentences. You guys are going to do great. Rock on, my superstars, and I'll see you all next time.